All right, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising. Weekly Love and Relationship Tarot Reading, February 10th to February 16, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website and as well a link to your other video which focuses exclusively to uh, your business and career week. So the first one which we do have in terms of your love life here is going to be the topic itself, that is the Two of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which is the energies feeding and supporting the topic, that is to be the Three of Swords for what it seems. Afterwards, it is the challenges that you will have to overcome here, that is going to be the uh, King of Swords. Follow with the next one, which represents the gifts and the blessings that uh, you can enjoy throughout the week, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. Afterwards, what we have, it is uh, the how people are going to take on you, what kind of impression you're going to leave into your supervisor, uh, not supervisor, oh my God, into your uh, person of interest, into your um, husband or a wife here. That is going to be the uh, Ten of Cups. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tara is offering in terms of uh, love and relationship for you, that is going to be the Five of Swords. Nice. All right. So rough one uh we do have a tree of swords with the two of pentacles here energy and then topic so the energies themselves are not very <laughs> how can i say it very not not exactly generous but merciful uh tree of swords here points that those energies are gonna make you think about uh, or are gonna make you focus more upon the negative aspects of the current situation you are finding yourself at career and uh, not career excuse me relationship wise either with the suitor or either with a, a current partner so things that are being annoying up until this point and you but you could have dealt with them now are going to be extremely extremely annoying you know um uh, talks that uh, say your person of interest or your partner gives on you uh, now uh, if up until now you could have stand them now you wouldn't be able to stand them you you would not want to have any of it any longer okay so those energies are going to make you extremely touchy here tree of swords and you will have that uh, how can i see it tendency and um in a standpoint just lay it all out okay so just kind of like a you would not care what happens afterwards because you what like said beforehand you wouldn't stand any longer this for example disrespectful uh, behavior of your person of interest or of your partner or this lazy behavior for example or the too much subordination that they do have like following you everywhere you go like a puppy and so on and so forth and it's kind of like you're gonna scream stop it you know just just stop that thing be a man for once or be a woman for once or it's kind of like have you do you have a dignity this is kind of like the standpoint that you're gonna have here with the tree of swords and it's uh you're not going to be very um merciful in a sense of uh, the way you are saying it so um if your partner or a person of interest for example is very touchy individual very emotional individual they may take it like an insult here okay they 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 will take it as a uh, as a mental cruelty but uh the thing with the tree of swords as an energy it is that those um, aggravating aspects of uh, one's relationship they need to be addressed they they really need to be laid out so you know if solution exists solution can be found to them and so they don't any longer kind of like put a, a pressure into uh into the relationship itself because that pressure builds up and eventually you know from from three of swords you are to reach the 10 there okay the 10 of swords nobody wants to find themselves there but the three of swords it is somewhere you know one quarter one third from the path to the tent and when you reach the 10 things break 
and when, when they break there, there is no revival okay so it's kind of like it is better to stop them now rather than to find yourself in a point of no return and the topic itself here which is the two of pentacles it kind of like a uh, signifies this change of uh, not even of attitude but it is like change of personality of yours or, or it's like um, taking off the mask that you have wear and that you have wore up until this moment and it's like displaying the true nature of yourself abandoning previous concepts abandoning previous star standards as well because uh, you are to find kind of like that they have been alienated and it's no different for example of the situation where for example two people have met each other they fell in love and while they had some you know behaviors that was aggravating the other person the other person said hey i probably can live with it right no wrong right you can live with it for a week two months a year couple of years and then it becomes a little bit too much and this is the little bit too much that we are having here and uh, now with the two of pentacles as well capricorn um that will make you uh that additionally is going to contribute to the point that you don't care how it's going to revolve it's either uh, unfold excuse me it's either you're gonna have it better or you're not gonna have it at all because obviously with those two cards the situation right now one or the other way it is not ideal for you and with this five of swords at the end which is the guidance you gotta find your ideal situation with the person you are with or the uh, person of interest you are with or without them now the next one it is the challenge itself and that will be a man or a woman we do have the king of swords and i do suspect that that is the one that is the one that you are trying to convert if you will or you're trying to make them understand that what they are doing is not working for you at all and this is uh, really someone who does not see it the way you see it they kind of like they are having this uh, standpoint that well, it works for them. It works. You have a relationship, right? You're talking together, right? Or you're having an interaction. So what's the big deal? Okay. Nobody dies from what they are doing. So they don't, that, that's the thing. They don't see the big deal behind what they're doing. And the worst thing about the, the King of Swords, it is that they have a tendency to think that they are always the right one. They, they think that, um, how can I say it? that? You don't know what you're talking about and only they can judge and adjudicate certain situations and only they are the ones who do the right thing and only they are the, the, the ones who can find a resolution to issues and to plights as well. So it's like you are uh, to try to breed sense into this one. It is the same thing to try to make the tree outside to do something for you. It's just it's almost impossible if you try to do it in a milder way but if you are rough if you if your tongue is sharp and if you don't sugarcoat anything well that just may make them rethink their position the next one it is the gifts and the blessings and that is going to be the gift and the blessing of the five of pentacles of the eight of pentacles excuse me in terms of your uh, love and relationship and that kind of touches almost 99 percent those which are single and especially if their current partner or current uh, person of interest does not want to listen what they have to say and does not want to comply to their complaints right so that card here points that you don't have to restrict yourself only to that guy or to that woman that card gives you the blessing that if you decide to go out and start dating people or start meeting people you can definitely have another option to date with to make a family with uh to make a, um, a relationship with as well that is the eight of pentacles in uh in a uh in a relationship especially for the single people that you just have to step outside into the world all right and just make something good to happen to you or leave a room it's not even making but leave a room something good to happen to you and if the current individual that you are with does not want to give it to you well, you can get it from someone else. Finally, here as a gift and blessings, Eight of Pentacles, for those who are fortunate enough, they are partners or people of interest to listen to them and their complaints. Then the Eight of Pentacles points that finally they are kind of like 
these people i mean they are seeing the, the the real picture and by that they kind of sober themselves and now a, a deeper commitment can actually take place so uh what is going to be the impression that you are gonna give into the people around we do have the ten of cups and ten of cups is the card pointing that you are quite self-efficient okay that's um once again you would be more than happy in any resolution whatsoever as long as you do have closure over it so uh that being said you are going to give an impression that the situation in between you and your suitor in between you and your uh, uh, uh beloved one or a husband or a wife cannot be postponed or delayed any longer uh, and you need an answer and you need it now and, and that answer has to be a definitive answer whatsoever uh, because the ten of cups also refers to the uh, this aspect of the human nature where we always want more I, I will try to explain what i mean here so when you meet someone new and you have a crush on them the only thing you want in this life is just to be with them right it's just this is probably where your prayers are going to it's like please god just make us be together i would never ask you for anything else well guess what god makes you being together and two years later you're finding yourself asking for something new it's just how we are it's just how we function and therefore uh, with the ten of cups here of how people are going to see you it is that this isn't the end of the line you can definitely find your emotional content elsewhere and that is going to scare your person of interest or your beloved one as well that they cannot keep up messing around with you and they cannot keep up being you know uh, leading their relationship life like it is only for them and you are there only to please their needs and their uh, their satisfactions and the final one is to be the five of swords which is the guidance that tarot is offering to you and the card points only two couple of things here the first one it is that um, i'm sorry that i'm gonna say it guys but it's just what the card points here it is that you, the 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 last resort that you can uh, jump into here if nothing else works is if you humiliate that person humiliation it will be a big step a big point of a uh, of sobriety for the person you are trying to see the things your way and the other point here that the five of swords wants to make to you it is that you do have the necessary influence you do have the necessary power but that power needs to be exerted with an iron with a hand that wears an iron glove not a, a silk one which you are trying to do up until now but an iron one with a strong grip and exerting a massive control over there okay so to me the breaking point of yours where the quadrant is now you know spewing rage if you will it has came and you have to just let it all out and if that person decides to go by with you and to move along with you from now on at least they will know what they are signing for and they will make a note of the things that they have uh misdid if i may express myself that way and where they got wrong and hopefully they are going to learn their lesson and they're not going to do that any longer so yeah that being said capricorn this was your weekly love and relationship tarot reading guys hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and um uh, we're going to see each other around, I hope. Until then, bye.